because you know I showed y'all painted my wall and after a few days I hated it um so I actually repainted it I need to finish the painting so I went to Lowe's today to get some more paint um for those of you who want to know what color I used on this wall that I'm about to show you <laughs> um it is Terra Spice and it's a Sherwin Williams paint that I got from Lowe's and I love this color um but this I I had to change it. I'm such a perfectionist and I'm such a person that like my space needs to be A1 in order for me to be able to be creative. And so every day when I walk into my office now, I am so geeked. Like I'm so hyped. I'm so inspired every time I come in here. So let me show y'all. This is the wall. Um, Terra Spice is the color if you like this color. I am obsessed. Um, I ended up getting these paintings from Target, um, if you're interested. Um, they were about $80. I'll link them below if I can find them on the website. But <laughs> I just feel like this is about to be a vibe. Um, and then over here, um, it's a little junky. Um, but my desk I got from Amazon. I'll link it down below. And then I did get some new jars that I'll show you guys from Uline today. I want to try something else. Don't mind my empty wine glass. You know, it's Friday last night. Um, so I got these jars from Uline. Um, they're 16 ounce. I'll show you first. Um, and then my chair. I got this from Wayfair. And then this little drawer situation I got from Home Goods, but I was able to find it online, so I'll link it down below. Um, and then over here, I have a little fake plant. Um, I got the plant, it, it did come in another planter over here, um, but I just put it in the big planter because I like the big planter. So I got the plant from Target too, but I got the planter from Home Goods. And then I will show you guys my storage space. Um, but not right now because it's a mess. So that's all so far. Um, so today I'm gonna be packing up some orders. I'm going to be um, bringing in stuff from my old office into here so I can really start utilizing the space and not have to go back and forth. And then I can start working on that room and transforming that room into the guest room. Um, if you guys are interested in seeing like my home renovation stuff on here, let me know in the comments because your girl been working. <laughs> She's been working on this home and it's been a lot of work, a lot of stress and like a lot of figuring things out because this is my first house and I've never bought a house before. I've never had to like DIY a lot of stuff um, and life is expensive. So, you know, but I love this wall. So today what I'm going to be doing, I didn't give you guys a close up, but like there's like these lines that I need to clean up right here. Um, and then, yeah, and then I just didn't paint this. I was trying to be artistic, so I just didn't paint that square for some reason, so I'm gonna paint that square because I think. <laughs>
right, so if I'm being honest, I have literally been all over the place today. Like, can we talk about burnout real quick? This is just a little rant. Not even a rant, you know, it's a necessary conversation. I am burnt out. Like, I have not been feeling really creative lately and I think it's really due to the fact that I've been overworking myself and I need a break. I need a break. Like my sleeping patterns are all over the place. I haven't been, I've been getting good sleep like the last week, but before that I was not sleeping well at all. And the only reason why I am sleeping better is because I'm for, I'm like literally forcing myself to tire myself out by the end of the day. And I'm still not going to sleep until like one or two in the morning because I literally can't sleep. And so I wake up every morning. I feel so groggy when I wake up in the morning and I'm literally rolling out of bed onto my laptop to start work. <laughs> like, and I know that just can't be healthy for my mental because I know I always feel better when I like really start my day with a fresh cup of tea, meditation, and like I set up my day and I set intentions for my day before I just hop into things. But I have really started a horrible habit of like literally just when I wake up, go, 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 go. And I hate it. But because of my sleeping patterns and I'm literally, I literally try to go to sleep at like 9, 10 o'clock and I literally am just laying in bed with my eyes closed for hours. I can't sleep. <laughs> So this is a candle that is discontinued. Um, it's Girls Need Love. I discontinued it because it wasn't giving what it was supposed to give, okay? So I'm about to clean this off. All right. Give it a little scrub down. And then get my business together. divider situation here because technically this when we bought the house wasn't a closet there was no closet in this room it was like it was a play area so this was divided so it was two sections and there was a little ladder built in here um so i'm making it into a closet space but really just a storage space for my candles um and so i do want some type of division here but I don't know what I'm going to do. I put this here temporarily to see how it will look and how I could make it, how I could finesse it. Um, but yeah, so this is what I have so far for my candle studio situation. So these are some of my fragrance oils. They are all of them. I have them on a lazy Susan to make it easier for me to access them. Um, I know what this one is. It's the tallest one. So I already know. So whatever in the middle here will always be the tallest one. Um... And so, yeah, so that's that. Then I have my candles and then I have a gang more candles in the other office. So I don't know what I want to do today or like get done today, but I know I want to finish painting this. So thank you. Got the sniffle. Got the sniffle. Um, I need to relabel some of these. So I don't know why my labels aren't like adhering well. I need to relabel some of these, but for now, that's that. So I have my thermal printer, my 
shipping situation and I plug my the, uh, my label printer straight into my thermal printer because it gives it power so I don't have to have all these different types of cords I could just plug my printer into my scale I'm tripping I don't know what I'm talking about my scale I, don't, I just plug my scale into my printer so this is what it's looking like so so far it's looking cute and then yeah so if you're wondering why I have the blue tape I label my candles if I'm making big batches and I put painter's tape on there um, painter tape isn't like a hard tape so it doesn't leave any marks unless I leave it on the candle for a really long time when I try to take it off it'll have a mark but typically it leaves no marks and then I can just keep track of what candle it is so that I can label it properly once it has cured so one thing that I need to complete I want to get these storage bins, these narrow, tall storage bins to put my wax in. And so I can properly store them over here. I think they'll fit. It'll fit better in this corner. Um, but so far, it's looking a little bit better. I have to figure out where to put these jars. These jars are actually probably going up. Um, and then figure out where I want my bookcase to go. Because I have a bookcase. It may <laughs> shelf and secure it better I don't know why I think it's the type of drywall that I have behind there this is a really old house um I did this is this is the type of um, um what are they called mounters um little plastic things that you put in the drywall to help secure things I used the right kind the upper shelf is secure like the two upper shelves are secure I don't know why this one is tripping out, but it is. You told me I could trust you. Don't die. I could really use you. Everybody needs love. Everybody needs love. You told me I could trust you.